Hey guys, SneakyA05 here, and we're back again for another train review. Now, I just finished my last one, the uh, Amtrak XL Express, the derailment train, is what I like to call it. But today we got another train review. We got two, actually. I actually got this train set a long time ago. Long time ago. This is the Athern HO Scale Iron Horse train set. Now, this train set comes in a, a many different variations of train sets. You can get them for different um, railroads. You can get it for... Norfolk Southern, um, Union Pacific, and of course I got for Union Pacific because I live right next to one of the grade crossings, um, and, uh, you can get it for CSX, there's so many other trains that you can get it for, it's awesome, but I got the Union Pacific one, and I, I gotta say, this is what I call a train set, comes with a decent amount of track, comes with three freight cars, a caboose that matches the railroad, and a nice unit. Now this unit, uh, this train set comes with a GP38-2 unit with a DCC quick plug equipped um, DCC ready locomotive. And it also has lighting with it. And that's pretty neat. This uh, train set cost me $200 from Atherin's website. <sighs> and uh, let's, let's look at the box. So I'm going to move this beast out of the way. And as you can see on the front, we got the BNSF version, which was the first version that you get. On the side, we get hobby quality, full featured power pack, which I'm actually using for my end scale layout because this is like a really good power pack, and I'm gonna keep it for my end scale layout, which is gonna be soon a model railway. Um, comes with a greater pulling power, easy setup, smooth performance. Backman Nickel Silver Easy Track, which is the DC loop that I have set up, and I just reviewed that train over there, which sucks. I mean, I'm not saying I hate it, but yeah, I would just watch the video. Ready to roll and ready, ready to roll locomotive with the freight cars, iron horse train set, now DCC ready. Now, when it means DCC ready, I don't really I know what that means. It means you could put DCC into it so you can make it DCC, but can you also make it sound? Because I really want to make this a sound unit. If, and if it can, please put in the description below, I mean, the comment below, if you can or if you can. And then you got this stuff written on the side. Each set includes a locomotive, three freight cars, and a matching caboose, like I said. A gray roadbed oval track of 45 by 36, Batman Easy Track, train pack power and power supply. Case that provides easy transport, so you can just take this train set wherever you want. And then on the side, we got the trains, Atherin in miniature. Or trains in miniature, Athen. <laughs> right, wrong. And then on the back, just so, so it's the freight cars. Uh, uh, uh. That was a weird burp. I had KFC. <laughs> we got a tanker car. A 50. I don't know what the 50 means. Box car, about 50 ton. And a 50 gondola with removable load. And we got how much track we get on it. And then we get the power pack, which is right there. And yeah, it's, a, it's actually a really nice train set. I love this train set, it's great. Even better, even better than the XLA Express. Now, I gotta say, this actually would make a great starter set because it comes with everything you need for a proper train set, a unit, rolling stock, and track, and a power pack and power supply. That's all you really need for a train set, but that one just comes with way too much. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, put the box back and let's look at the detail on the unit. All right, so the GP38-2 is not really my favorite pot freight locomotive, but it is still a nice locomotive. It comes with great detail. And Atherin just did a wonderful job on this train set and the unit and the freight cars. As you can see, this is locomotive number 506. You got the Union Pacific sign right there. And here you got the gas um, entrance, so you could put the gas in there. And then the front, you got a Union Pacific sign. You got the handbars, which are actually plastic, so don't touch these or slam them because these things can fairly easily come off. I remember this detached on the back, so I had to glue it back on. Got some more details on the side of the. Um, um, the lockers here, and then we got on up here the fans, and here we got the gas release gauges right here. 
and we've got the smoke units right there, which don't actually smoke, we've got the horn there. Front, we got the cab, we got 506 number boards with a workable um, lighting system right there. We got a, um, I don't know what kind of coupler that is, I, am, I forgot what it's called, but it's still a nice coupler that's compatible with many freight cars, a rolling stock, and has its um, coupler cup cut lever that is still magnetic. Magnetic. Man, I cannot speak today, can I? My precious accent. Ugh. Turn over to the side. We got 506 written on the side with the um, step ladders here. And then we got the light here. And then the back that I had to fix. We go on the side. What's that say? Can't yeah, see that. And I'll just tell you what it says. Fuck, I can't even see that. It's too small. And then on the side here, next to 506, you probably still can't see that. It says GP38-2. Now that we're done with detail of this wonderful locomotive, let's get on the track to pull the freight train that the set comes with. Oh my gosh. up all right good let's get this show on the road still runs nice actually let me just show you the slowness of this locomotive oh crap my, my DC layout whoops that's how slow this runs and this is DC power that's amazing now let's run the consist by, and I'll show you the freight cars. You get a Rio Grande, um, or a Rio Grande, how, whatever, however people say it, with a removable load. I don't really know what these are, but they can be removed. It's pretty cool. You get a BC rail boxcar, which actually opens the doors, but they're really hard to get open. They break fairly easily. Continue that on. We get a tanker car, which doesn't really have anything special about it, so it's just a tanker car. It's just a tanker car. And then we got a wide vision caboose with, on the side, that's written, there is no romance in taking a chance with a broken heart. Alright, and this actually comes with a lot of detail, this caboose. It surprises me how much detail there is. It's amazing. So let's get this uh, locomotive running. And there's my station right there. I built that. It's by Walters. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now, this train set does not derail. I mean, I've, I've actually never had this train derail before. Amazing, right? No, oh, look at that. That is the definition of a train set. Just amazing, folks. I gotta say. Just amazing. This is one wonderful train set. I do recommend this to anyone. Starters, people who are kind of there, even professionals. This is a great train set. And it comes with the best type of Batman track, their um, nickel silver code 100 rail. And the cool thing about these GP38-2 units is that they can um, withstand any type of, type of coded rail, even 55. Even 55. That's amazing, isn't it? Oh, look at that. That's nice. All right, there is a wonderful train. Yeah. backwards wow what do I gotta say this folks is just the definition of a great train set and like I said before it comes with everything you need a unit track and rolling stock along with a power pack and power supply that's just wonderful way better than the Amtrak Excel Express, gotta be honest.
Gotta be honest, folks. But yeah, it's it's amazing. And I understand that uh, Atherin is coming out with some more train sets too. They're coming out with um uh two new passenger train sets. They're coming out one with the Pennsylvania F seven and an Amtrak F seven with three passenger cars. And of course I will be reviewing it. Yes, I will be reviewing this. Um Yeah. But anyways guys, that's gonna be for today. Be sure to click that subscribe button and that like button. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys later for more and goodbye.